Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to GOA Fish Farm. I'm back again with another video. Yes, thank you to all our fans. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. I'm really, really grateful. Uh, right now, we are developing. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Uh, thank you very much. If you are new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, like, and leave any question for us at the comment section. Like the video I'll be doing today, it is based on the high demand from our subscriber who asked us to make a video on the procedures of how many bags of fish feed will you use to feed your 1,000 catfish. That is, how many bags will you be needing and then how are you going to buy the bags in sizes then what type of product will you be buying so i'll be explaining everything in this video so sit back relax and enjoy you can take a bottle of water or coke just to enjoy yourself yeah back to the video now today i'll be answering the question on how many bags of fish feed will feed 1000 catfish in a period of four months or five months and what are the sizes of bag they have to buy because many of you want to buy your feed at once so that you just be taking it going in in, in, in one place or the other but you don't know the sizes when to buy how many 2 mm how many 3 mm how many 4 mm how many 6 mm how many 8 mm or 9 mm and what are the products that you can buy but in this video i'll be explaining now what i'll be saying is for 1000 catfish you'll be using for a period of four to five months you'll be using uh, a, a number of bag of 67 to 75 pieces of bag that is 15 kg bag you'll be using 68 to 75 pieces of 15 kg bags now having known that how then do you use them what are the modes how many will you be using the first month second month now your first month you have to buy five bags of 2 mm if you are buying if you have juvenile but if you do not have juvenile, if you are stocking fingerlings, that means you'll be buying 1.8 scratching or alacqua. Remember, I told you, foreign feed are the best you must start with either fingerlings or juvenile. You must start with foreign feed. And the best foreign feed is either you use alacqua. I recommend alacqua because it is cost safe and highly productive. Scratching is not uh, is expensive but also highly productive. So go for alacqua or scratching 1.8 if it is fingerless. But if you are buying juvenile, like I recommend that every starter should buy juvenile. Now, juvenile 2 mm, you need five bags. Five bags will feed thousand fishes of uh, catfish for a month because I told you that you have to feed them with this 2 mm for a whole month. So these five bags will feed 1000 fishes for a whole month because in the first week they will manage to finish one bag in a week in the second week they'll be using maybe within three or four days they'll be finishing a bag so that means within your two and third week you'll be using three bags so the fifth bag will be using the last one. so you buy five bags that's for two mm for three mm you will be buying alacqua again alacqua has 45 percent protein for their three mm but the size is bigger than the two mm. Two mm also have forty five percent protein. So that you see now why I'm saying you should buy alacqua for your uh, uh, uh three mm. For three mm, you will be needing ten bags of three mm, which will take you for the second month of your stocking. Three mm, you will be buying fifteen kg three mm, ten bags, so making fifteen bags in total for that one first to th uh, second month. Now by the end of this second month. You should be ready to be feeding your fish with a bag per day because after two months your 1000 fish will be eating a bag in a day either half bag in the morning half bag in the evening so per day you'll be using a whole bag so there's high probability of you uh, 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 using 20 or 25 bags of 3 mm 20 or 25 bag of 3 mm so after 3 mm you get 4 mm so 4 mm, you buy another 25 bags of 4 mm. So after 4 mm, 4 mm at this stage, you can now buy blue crown. You don't have to get alacqua again because it's too expensive. But you can now get blue crown or echo float or you can get uh, aqualis. These are the same, it is the same company, uh, 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 Olam, that is making both blue crown and aqualis. So you can get it or any other product that is very rich in carbohydrates 
So you know at this time you are no more concerned about growth. You are more concerned about weight. You know when you want to sell at the fourth month, it is about weight. So you get what? 25 bags. So now at the fourth month, you'll be using 35 bags. Because in a day, you remember, 30 days make a month, or let's say 31 days sometimes, you can, you'll be using one, one bag per day. And as such, you will be using 30 bags in 30 days. So, like I said, there is no uh, fast route to feeding. You use broadcasting method. So, if I tell you where then in case you do this, and all these things are, are for theoretical rules. If you want me, if I'm, those who I give lecture, I give them the mathematical set of rules. But in reality, in reality, it is the response and observation from your fish. You put feed there, once they respond, you, 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 you stop. Once you see that, okay, there are no more feeding, you stop. But if I say weigh free 5 kg and just feed them with 5 kg, you will do that, you won't be getting the, the ad, uh, desired result. So that's why I said, use the observation method. Get your feed in your bowl, use broadcasting method, feed them. Once they are getting, the, the rule of uh, 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 utility will come in. Once they are, the higher they are getting satisfied, the lower they will be coming for the feed. So at this point, you withdraw and you stop. And I told you that 10 uh, a.m. in the morning and 5 p.m. in the evening is the best hour to carry out your feeding daily. However, if you are a civil servant or you are, you don't, the only time you are free is 8 a.m. or 6 a.m., you can do it. Just have a constant time and have a spot that you are doing. Lastly now, if you intend to now, after the fourth month feeding, it is time you can sell. But if you, but before you can sell, please weigh your fish. You, by this fourth month, your fish, if you execute this proper feeding, your fish should be at least 60% of them should be weighing 1 1 kg. If you do not have these results, then feed them again for the next fifth month. So, for the fifth month, you'll be using blue crown, you'll be buying 35 to 40 bags. You are using the fifth month because I told you that you know, at this stage, they're already feeding 1 1 bag per day. So, the higher the time, the higher the cost of production. But the thing is that no matter the feed that you give to them, you will get the result at the end of the day. So, in total, like I told you, we're using up to from 68 to 75 bag for four months. Or by using five months, we're using up to like a, a 85 to 90 bags in a year. But one thing about catfish, you know what's surprising is that no matter the numbers of uh, uh, bags of feed that you use, you know what you execute your feeding process very well, it will have a good result on your fish. And you will not run into loss. Remember, I told you weigh your fish before you sell. Don't call your buyers to come, and then you now start weighing. Weigh yourself. Know your expected results. This will make you to determine the cost of your sale. If you now evaluate it and you call your buyers at that point to negotiate price of sale, it will be difficult. So please, if your buyers if you are selling to middleman, like I told you the trick in my harvesting system. Make sure that when you are selling, you are selling package. Don't let them come and tell hey, this one is medium, this one is small, this one is big. No, it is a form of cheating. At the end of the day, you'll be losing. So let it be the big size, one one package. You weigh it. If it is 20 kg, you can take. Let them take it. If you can't sell, pro take all your fish to a processing farm. Let them process it, smoke everything, and then you distribute it at your own time. So this is all I have for you on the method and the process of feeding 1,000 fish. For you those that have 5,000, just do the multiplication. You can just add it, 1,000 times 5. The principle I just gave to you, 60, 75 pieces times, you know, the number of fish that you have. If you are making it, that's why I make it to be an analysis of 1,000. So no matter the number of fish you have, we need 2,000, 5,000, 30,000. Just keep doing the multiplication. And you know the number of bags you have to fill. Now, in conclusion, before I go, in as much as you are moving, remember you do modulation method. That is, if you want to move from 2 mm to 3 mm, once your 2 mm is remaining about 3 kg or is little that is remaining, two days to when it's about finishing, the 3 mm that you have, mix the 2 mm and the 3 mm together so that there will be a gradual introduction of the feed to them. If you do this by the third day, when your 2 mm is finishing and you are fully using 3 mm, your fishes will not be surprised. The 3mm size will not be new to them because they are already used to the method. They are already used to the feed that you are introducing. To. But if you finish 2mm and maybe you are introducing 3mm, some of your fish, because you know fish cannot grow equally, some of your fish will be able to eat it and consume well, while some won't be able to. So you have to know this method of feeding for you to have a good result in your feeding 
system. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of today's session. If you are new to this channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, and leave any question for us at the comment section. If you want me to answer any video again about fish farming, fish production, drop your question or message at the comment section. Or you can reach out to me on 080 or visit our website at www.